So li- like when you guys live together, what's some of the habits that he that you maybe saw or you uh, picked oh, up? Oh, he'd or? say some funny things. You know, he he would, uh, and it was comfortable. Or he'd go out to breakfast uh, when I was living there, and go out to breakfast, and he would just kind of. But by then, you know, things were winding down. So uh, when I went to live with him, was well, actually lived with him, but it was pleasant. You know, we'd go out to breakfast, talk about all kinds of things. Poets would come to visit. Uh, I got a big kick out of some of uh, Bukowski's uh, approaches to, I remember he'd go see a poet that always wrote about demons. He had been a heroin addict. But he wrote right about the demons, so because he said he went to see him, and he wrote it in a poem somehow. And on the way home, the demons rode with him. <laughs> he, he would just had a great, pretty great sense of humor, so he was always joking. And, you think he was like a kind of spiritual on a certain uh, level of, of certain things? I, like God. I always felt that he was uh, he wasn't spiritual unless he had to be, unless he was sick or dying or something like that. I felt that. What I felt was great about him was just his intelligence, you know, just his, uh, he would just see everything uh, and kind of get what it was all about, what, what, I thought he could be a little mean, you know, like, especially when he was drinking, uh, he could be kind of, I remember he talked about me and said, that woman never shuts up. I didn't like that very well, but it was true. You know, I, I am a big talker, as you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> so, said so what about, he said was the truth. Said something about, you know, some, <laughs> the air of the tires won't roll or something. What did he? He had some some funny way he he explained it in his. Oh yeah, his and he was very funny about your mom because he'd say things like, uh, you know, he would kid her about, you know, certain ways that, like being crazy you know and he'd say well I didn't believe it at first but you know now now that he'd seen her oh they had such funny fights well we thought they were funny I mean <laughs> I don't know how funny but Cassie, uh her fights about trying to run over him in her jeep <laughs> <laughs> and putting him out on the freeway stuff like that we always laughed for years over <laughs> uh, because he loved it he loved it because she'd think up these awful things to do to him and, and then he'd write about it in his column <laughs> When she got mad, like, throw all his, threw his typewriter in the street and broke it. Hmm. But she was very mad, you know, he had been unfaithful or something. What <laughs> some real major thing hmm. that uh, she thought called for some violence, you know. <laughs> so, but I always suspected him of so, agitating her so he could have, <laughs> he could write about her in Notes of a Dirty Old Man that he wrote for years for the L.A. Free Press, so. But then, but tell my mom's like physical strength and her, her temper made uh, her very, yeah, very yeah. strong and like yeah. I mean tell about a little bit about her actual strength when she's angry. Uh, and oh yeah, she was, oh yeah, and she's Bukowski on the farm. Had, was strong. He was strong. He he, uh, he did not let her intimidate him. He never showed any. Uh, he wouldn't hold back from getting her really mad. So <laughs> I always thought he had a lot of courage. <laughs> Oh, oh, the the great the one that was the funniest is uh, you've probably seen it. There's a couple of uh, film uh, pieces of Bukowski sitting on the couch with the his wife Linda that followed Linda, and he just kicked her, kicked her right off the couch twice. I've seen him in different films doing that. I told Scott, I says, can you imagine Bukowski kicking your mom off the couch? <laughs> He said Bukowski would have been torn apart. And she, she, no, Bukowski never kicked Linda King off the couch. No, no. <laughs> Nobody did. Nobody messed with Linda when she, because she would fight. She would fight. So, uh, and she was very strong. She could walk up and down the stairs on her hands. Imagine getting in a fist, you know, getting in a fight with her. Yeah. But I was the oldest, so Linda would never hit me. She might try to, I remember one time she tried to wrestle with me and throw me out of the apartment. We just wrestled and wrestled, but she wouldn't really use her full strength on me, you know. <laughs> so she, I, I, I had her there. I was the oldest, and so she, 
She didn't uh, uh, how, ever. How do you think uh, Bukowski influenced uh, my mom's writing at all? You know. Oh, he turned her loose. I mean, he gave her. Uh, she had a lot. I thought she had a lot of talent, and he just uh, gave her the impetus and the courage to to just go into all her feelings. I thought she wrote very well when she was with him. Uh, she wasn't as nearly as, you know, she wasn't as polished as he was. She didn't have the style he always talked about. But, and he would say sometimes that she was just, you know, he was her uh, muse and and he she wrote in his style. But there's a lot of people who wrote in his style. And I, you know, sort of like that style of just, uh, and I thought she was very good at it. And before before she ever met him, she was writing poetry that I thought was was strong. Uh, she's she just she, and your mom was a very talented sculptress. Let him look. Let anybody look at that bust of Bukowski and deny that she's not a very a great sculptress. She did a great bust of him. You think? And that, he knew it. He knew it. Do you think that's when uh, they fell in love, right? When they yeah. Kind of... Oh yeah. I think he fell in love partly with her talent. Mm -hmm. that she was so good at what she could do. And so I think if she hadn't been as good a sculptor as she was, he wouldn't have tolerated her writing the poems. But I think he had so much respect for her talent that he thought, well, let her, let her, you know. So he actually encouraged her. He was mad when he, when they broke up and he did not do justice to your mom in women. I thought he could have written a great book about her and there, then he did. But he was mad, so he wouldn't do it. He just lumped her in there with other women in there and didn't really do justice to all, this, all the great experiences they had. Uh, and I thought, well, he'll be sorry because I think your mom has written a better book about her relationship with him than he wrote about her. She outdid him in that, and I hope it's published someday. I hope her, I think she wrote a great book about her relationship with Bukowski. So, some of those.